It goes sideline to sideline. You got to be aggressive. You got to look to score. You're not looking to score. When you look to score, solutions will find you. You understand? DJ went through a lot last year. He lost his mother to cancer. That happens right before the season. When his mother passed away, he fought through everything. Never once could you tell that he wasn't, you know, for the team. And I think that just showed his toughness. We're trying to surround him, cocoon him, and be there for him, be his family. Then Tim goes down. And now you tell this guy, not only did you, you know, lose your, your, your mother, but now you have to do it all. You have to do your best impersonation of Tim the year before. All of our motivation really comes from the loss of my mother. I was nervous because I knew I had uh, big shoes to fill. We adjust some of the offenses to adjust to my game. My confidence just kept going up. He did a phenomenal job of shouldering that responsibility. I mean, yeah, the wins weren't there, but as far as leadership, as far as locker room, as far as his approach to practice, his mentality every single day of wanting to get better, wanting to create the best habits he can, he showed that. Us both going through adversity definitely brought us together. We definitely trusted each other more because we both felt pain together and we were both there for each other. Tim would always come up to me and tell me um, how they were playing me on ball screens or was they really shading me right or was they giving me the jump shot coming off left. Last year, highlight of my season definitely been beating Michigan. We were 0 14. We were down by 15 in the second half. Here's a kid who could have mailed it in. Here's a kid who could have said, you know what, I'm just going to get mine. We're not winning games. We're not going anywhere. But not him. He just kept fighting. So to keep chipping away, keep chipping away. We battled back. The Nittany Lions have done it. They have knocked off fourth rank Michigan. I don't want to take this celebration away from you. <clears throat> you Prove to him that I can be a leader, I can do what Coach says, I can play Penn State basketball, I can be a stat sheet stuffer, and, and success will happen. I live with Tim Frazier, um, Brandon Teller, and Ross Travis. My room, it's not too much going on here. Tim, he's just a crazy guy, fun guy. I know if, I, if I'm hungry at middle of the night, I can always go to his room and get snacks. Scooby-Doo snacks. If you haven't had Scooby-Doo snacks, you gotta get on that. Obviously, Sour Patch Kids, top of the line. You know, I just love sweets. Ross Travis, he got a recording studio in his room. He likes to rap. We all try to rap. None of us is good at it, but we like doing it together. We walk together, take steps up in the right direction. We run it in problems and solve them like classes in session. But you got me, baby, I got you. And that's the crazy combination for the things we do. DJ, DJ, don't yeah, two. <laughs> Play that top, blue down here, let's go! Let's go, man. Start us off right now, baby. Let's go. Let's go. All stops right now, man. Lines drill, all stops. Let's go, man. We ready to go right here. Tim Frazier. Ready to go right here, man. Let's DJ. Go. Most important thing for them is leadership. They need to keep the guys together. They need to be a cohesive unit. We just want to be able to go out there and just help our team the most. Being at the point guard, and, you know, him being at the point when I'm out. The ball's in our hands, so we're there to make plays. We're there to lead our team. They gotta do it all. It can't be just, you know, 20 points with no rebounds and no assists and no steals. For this team to be really successful, unfortunately for them, they have to do it night in and night out. And, and when they don't do it, the outcome's not gonna be as great. We're both captains. We have to work hand in hand. Our trust starts off the court. I could tell him something, and I tell him to keep it between me and him and he won't tell anybody else. The same thing for me. We got confidence in each other just to know that even if I make a mistake, he still believes in me and I still believe in him. So that should make them better leaders. Guys, we've been through this before. Look at the adversity, real life adversity. It's not about winning or losing. This is a basketball game. We're talking about real life stuff. Ruptured Achilles, loss of a parent. 
And as long as they continue to battle together, they can show this team that we can battle through anything.